Let's talk about the eight things you'll need for a business podcast beyond the equipment. A business podcast is an incredibly useful marketing tool for companies of all shapes and sizes. It's a perfect medium to build trust as well as increase the brand's awareness and reputation. So what do you need to know and have to start a podcast? I'm A. Lee Judge, and we're going to cover the eight essential things you need for podcast marketing success after the jump. Check this out. Podcast audiences tend to have higher education, higher income, and are loyal to listening to podcasts they love. All great stats if your podcast has a goal of doing business. Eventually, most companies learn that partnering with a podcast production company is the best and most sustainable route. But if you decide to take on the process in-house and do it on your own, here are the essentials of creating a podcast that you need to know before making that decision. So here they are. Number one, consistent content topics. Business podcasts need to provide information about trends and developments in your industry that are useful to your audience. Regardless of your extensive knowledge on the topic, you should always do thorough research. Make a habit of inviting experts and thought leaders as guests. Most importantly, you need to be able to create a production schedule and stick to it. Be it once a week, once every two weeks, or once a month, your audience needs to know when you will return with new material. Even though most will not listen to it live or in real time, they still need a regular schedule. Otherwise, you risk losing their interest. Consistency is the key. Number two, sufficient time to record on a regular basis. Even though this might seem obvious, many don't give this step the consideration it needs. And as a consequence, I usually never set aside the necessary time to do the recording. A 30-minute show will need more than just 30 minutes of recording, and that's without taking into consideration any editing. Between greeting your guests, going through all the talking points, and the actual recording itself, you're looking it up to an hour and a half or more. Make sure to set this time aside and not feel compelled to rush the process. Number three, a place to record good sound. The quality of your audio can make or break your business podcast. Aside from the equipment used, you also need to consider your recording environment. Keep in mind that the room size and the objects in the room will affect the ambient noise that's generated. This room that I'm in right now, for example, is specially designed for audio production because it isn't just for the business of content podcast that we produce, it's also one of the rooms we mix our clients' podcasts in. You don't necessarily have to have an acoustically treated room like this one, but the general rule of thumb is that hard objects and surfaces like tile floors, glass panels, walls, desks, etc. will amplify the amount of reverb and echo. Soft objects and surfaces like carpets, couches, foam insulation, on the other hand, will absorb it and give you better sound results. Keep in mind that your listeners may not know why your podcast sounds bad. They will just simply choose not to listen to it if the sound isn't good. Number four, your recording method. When it comes to the actual recording method, you can either choose to invest in equipment or outsource your production. Outsource production can be done by using a remote producer, going into a podcast studio, or the producer coming to you. For serious businesses, outsourcing to a professional is generally the better and more cost-effective option. For serious businesses, outsourcing to a professional is generally a better and more cost-effective option. They have experience in the area and will take up more of the responsibilities that go into your business podcast. They can help create and maintain the creative vision of the podcast, oversee the production, and even help coordinate interviews. Number five, the post-production producer. Post-production involves a lot of aspects such as editing, mixing, and mastering the recorded content to create a cohesive episode. In some cases, this may require incorporating news clips, adding music transitions and other sound effects and elements to add to the narration. For all of these, you will need a producer that can either do these things themselves or oversee the production team to make sure that everything is in order. Next up, a hosting service. Another aspect of podcasting that very few businesses pay attention to is their hosting service. Even though your website and podcatchers such as iTunes will be the main places your audience go to listen to your business podcast, these are not where the files of the podcast are actually hosted. We should mention that you can host your podcast on your website, but for many reasons, it's not recommended. The best way to handle this is using a media host. You can look at your website as the storefront of your business podcast, iTunes as the catalog that lists your episodes, and the media host as the warehouse where all those episodes are stored. Your podcast producer may also manage your hosting for you, so be sure to ask if they can help you with that. Next, your podcast promotion strategy. If you build it, 
no one will know. You have to promote your podcast. You should use your website, social platforms, email marketing, and online advertising to spread the word. Giveaways and partnerships with larger brands can also help. Make it easy for your guests to spread your podcast around by sending them an email containing ready-made social media posts and captions. Another great way to spread the word is to have a special guest that has a following and will help promote their episode. You can also mention your podcast while being a guest on other podcasts. Next up, a website blog role for the podcast. Even if the bulk of your audience will come through iTunes, Spotify, Google, or other such sources, you'll still need to have your business podcast on your website. A great option here is to create a separate blog just for your podcast that lists all the episodes. This makes for easier access, shareability, and better audience retention rates. To wrap it up, this list is not exhaustive, but it depicts some of the essential elements needed for a successful business podcast beyond the equipment. While most businesses will choose to partner with the podcast producer, if you choose to start on your own, keep these things in mind. I'm A. Lee Judge, hoping to help you consistently go further and reach your goals in digital marketing.